Well, there's no adventure line. All of his co-workers were gone. When Stanley came to a set of okay. two open doors, Maybe. he entered the door on his left. The narrator forgot all about learning about what it feels like. Yeah. To be they told erased what to his do. memory. This was go. not the correct way to the meeting. There's room, one thing we Stanley haven't done over here. Well. Through here, instead of and going so on that, we go straight. Section, walk straight ahead okay. to the opposite door and got back on track. What's over here? Oh, this is the meeting room. Okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Now we haven't been to the boss's office. That's true. Last time we Coming went to down. A staircase, Stanley yeah. and then walked upstairs to his boss's office. Sort of through space and then had an aneurysm <laughs> died and then a woman saw us and walked by. <laughs> Apparently. Nice office. Nice. Why so nice? Empty. The boss. Ooh. Stepping into his manager's Ooh. office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of Who anything. Who has an office like, like this? <laughs> no one. Unraveled, Stanley wondered know. in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? Why? Yeah. What he what could not that? have known was that the keypad behind the boss's say desk it's guarded risky. the terrible truth that oh, his Scott. boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Ooh. Two. Eight four five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Did we just make keyboard sounds? Stanley just sat click? around yeah. twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since What's he could device? never possibly know that the combination was two eight four five. Two eight four <laughs> five. He's really telling oh, it to us. Oh this <laughs> I feel yeah. dumb. I like it. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing <laughs> buttons on the Random keypad, buttons. Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. <laughs> Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Maybe the narrator is pretending like he doesn't know, but he's giving us clues to help us? I don't know. Well, the narrator is, like, leading us on a story and giving us the illusion of having a choice. Oh, another button down. You okay. know, the whole idea is that we don't really have a choice. Right. The narrator. So, that's just his shtick. And you know, I think I think that's ultimately true of video games. Because they're designed to be a certain way, you can choose it's how all... how certain things go in the game, but even that choice was a design by right. the game creators. Right. Nothing you do is actually... Yeah. And most games that give you the illusion of choice still have pretty much the same ending. If you choose something, it might affect the gameplay the building, a little bit, Stanley but it still has the same ending usually. A bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. The nature of the game. How did he feel this now? Yeah when for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. I'm a little scared. It's a bit creepy down here. Just a bit. I always worry about like noxious gases. Stanley walked straight ahead to the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Mind Control Facility. Escape! Um... Do we... I mean... <laughs> it says escape. I have a escape. feeling that we'll die if we go this way. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was <laughs> that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Well, we've um, died several times so far, so let's, let's do it. Let's find out what our violent death is. Yeah, I want to know. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity <laughs> to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making We've a, a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yep. 
I just, I need the freedom. Freedom and death! What if the narrator's lying? I don't think he was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like that illusion of trying oh. to beat the game. Oh. We didn't die. Look at that. Did not die. Hey, how about that? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, it reflected that his love oh, of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't oh. see oh. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps Ooh. his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. What? So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end no. to his brief and shallow life. Well, Stanley. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I changed my mind. Did you pause it? Farewell, Stanley cried the narrator oh. as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. There's a new narrator. Oh. We broke it again. <laughs> we have a new narrator. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly oh. did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I like this new narrator. Oh. She let us live. She's like the narrator's narrator. Yeah. Recursive. When what? every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, Death becomes meaningless. Yeah. Making life the That's same. That's very true. Do you see now? Do you see that Death Stanley is meaningless in a game. Dead from no matter what game it is, start. you can restart. You can load from your last save. Oh, look. Death is completely meaningless. It's like a miniature of the office. Whoa! Stanley's computer. Oh, it's like a little office layout. The pacing of this opening section was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in good in a good time. Are these the, the wall computer. decorations? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Nature paintings. Is this like the end of the game? Like, did, did we beat it? The two doors. The set of the two doors was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parables design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it. An exploration of the con contradiction this room posed. <laughs> credits. That's the credits. Like, we're at the this end of the game. the end of the game. Whoa. That was really interesting. Interesting. And a little bit anticlimactic. We didn't actually do every path. And we rarely did what we were supposed to. Actually, I don't think we ever did anything completely as we were supposed to. So maybe that's why it didn't take as long. Maybe this isn't the end? I, I'm i really confused right now. Well, I theoretically the it game. wouldn't be the end because you can play as many times as you want. Kevin Bright Brighting. Kevin Brighting. I'm confused and it's making me angry. Are these like all the different things that could happen? Zending? We didn't get all of them. <laughs> it's like the design of the game. There's some stairs. What's this? <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one Stanley another. Stanley and the... How they both wish Stanley to be Stanley and the free. narrator? Yeah. On. Off. Oh. Go for it. Maybe this will break it again. Oh? Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. 
Stanley needs the narrator, and the narrator needs Stanley. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both oh, fail. broke the fourth wall. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. Press escape. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's oh. path. Stop now. And be your only Should we press choice. escape or not? not? Do choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time. <laughs> Maybe we didn't do anything. We d uh, let it do. I feel very disoriented. <laughs> this game. I've never played it's a game like, like this. It's not like any other game. Uh, uh, yeah, this is the only game like this I have ever played. Yeah. We're just in black. Pressing forever. escape just makes it pause. Would we have to begin again? I think we're dead. How long should we wait before starting again? I th I think we are pretty much out for the count. Do you want to restart I and guess see? We have to begin again. I don't really want to start from the beginning. I mean, well, it didn't start with the, uh, you know, the little cutscene. All the of his coworkers right. were gone. What could it mean? Maybe this is going to be a set of two open oh, doors. Oh, like one time, I think. On his left. In fact, this keypad guarded Wait, the terrible five. secret that lay oh. buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible. <laughs> oh, that's so great! Just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that's the <laughs> best. Oh. So for a few moments with some calming new age music. <laughs> They're punishing us. <laughs> That's great. I love that. That is great. Feeling soothed and <laughs> soothed. Stanley I feel soothed. Calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. I feel soothed. I'm very soothed. They couldn't have made me more soothed if they had chosen Enya. I mean, Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Try going there and then coming back. I want to see Mind Control? Says. No, go to the escape and oh. then come back. Yeah. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh, we don't want that. <laughs> nah. We're, we're cool. We already tried violent death a couple of times. Not a fan. But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much. I kind of want to go for. back and hit the escape button and see if that works. Nope, still on board. You know, with still death. on board with death. <laughs> I'm still on board with death. Maybe when the female narrator was telling us to hit the escape button, she what she meant was pause the game and restart. Like that's the only As way the not to die. Motion, Pause the game. Stanley was he inched never really closer and closer to his okay. demise. That's true. He reflected that his life had been of no Like the narrator is ever. saying. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real smash story. Smashy, smashy. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps yeah, his yeah, death yeah, was of no great loss. That. Like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned That's really rude. and willingly accepted this violent It is. Fucking eyeballs from people. Life. Even if they're not yeah, using them. Stanley. I mean, it would still hurt. It's their eyeballs. Wait, no, you have to wait for her. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, All right. as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing really him instantly. I really like the voices for the narrator. Both narrators. Yeah, me too. Really I like voices. them. They're very, very nice choices. They're very nice to listen to. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How did they know we wanted How to destroy the narrator? Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? And now she's no. outside yeah, of whenever the game we're talking to us. Yeah. things cannot be seen. Because whenever we're doing those rooms without the narrator, we like don't me. know what to you do. Can still like, what do we do? You can stop the program. Look, she's they talking both to fail. us, the players. Yeah. yeah. So it, like, it's a quit. whole other, other layer. Beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. 
Stop now. Well, this is basically the ending choice. of the game. Because if I hit time escape, choose. she says to quit. Quit to menu. Quit to menu. Okay. Which is just quitting the game, which is the only true power the player has. As long ah. as the player is playing the game, they don't have control over what's going on. Only quitting the game gives play the control to the player. That is very true. Well, quit to The choice to play or not to play is the only real choice a player has. That's very deep. <laughs> <laughs> so... We chose not to play the game. But I still want to see what's in the mind control facility. Okay, let's do that. Okay, I think have we all know like the drill by now. <laughs> Dark secrets, this looks the like just a great pushes library. Buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passage. <laughs> Kill Surprise. Surprise! It knows we've been here. <laughs> that is amazing. It knows that we've been playing. That's amazing. It knows we've been through it. <laughs> I love it. That is so great. Cause... So video games are just a way... In, the, in right. mind control. Well, yeah, I mean, the designers designed the game to manipulate the player into following the rules. Stanley walks and also straight to ahead feel through things, the large door. Just like any right. story. Mind exactly. Facility. Yeah. To have feels. Yeah. They want you to have feels Illicit and thoughts. feelings. Yeah. Okay. There's a button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What Ooh. horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find is that, out? This is the place we were at before. Yeah. Way we came there. out up there before. Yeah. And all these were on. And no one was down here. Uh, oh, look. We can go to the next one. We have the strength to find out. So cameras, light bulbs. Now cameras. the monitor. Yeah, this is that the same room. Their true nature revealed. Each Fired. bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Interesting. Oh, person. Person button. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Ah. That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? And you do. When you go into a game, you do just sort of accept yeah. whatever. When you consume any media, you're agreeing to be manipulated by that media to a certain extent I mean unless you are actively like no being aware of he it. refused to believe it he couldn't accept it his own life in someone else's control never never it was unthinkable wasn't it was it even possible had he truly spent his entire life utterly sorry Stanley you just world? wasted your life but here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Unless this is part of the mind control. Of course it is, because we only got here by following directions. In it's the first place. Disabled. All of them are already offline. Maybe someone got here before us. Five. Huh. Mean. No idea. Did we turn something on? I don't know. Oh, look. Oh, we can control minds. 
or, you know, last, dismantle it. When he found it. the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this oh, horrible place but... and to everything it stood for. Yeah, but... <laughs> Or, well, mind control. Well, we are being mind controlled by the narrator if yeah. we do what it says. If we do what the narrator says. Yeah, but if we do the opposite of what he says, then we're not being mind controlled, and then we can mind control other people. Right. Let's go with that. All right. <laughs> oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Yep. Yep. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, <laughs> there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation what? system. Uh -huh. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators nuclear. are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. <laughs> That's a little excessive. <laughs> This is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Turn it's it off, turn it off! It's to shine. You are the run, star. Run, 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 run. It's Let's your go. story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all See, I knew it. I barely know where to start. Narrator's a jerk. What's He's that? not our friend. You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. Four. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll <laughs> tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons One, endlessly and three. then dying alone. Press it again. Other times, I let the office sink into the, the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. Um, one, three. I have to say this, though. Three. This version Is there of the a number three somewhere? Music. There has to be. Watching you try to make sense this of everything seems. and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm there it sure is. One and two. I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But is there I'm a number three? So much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to There's put a some one and two, a four and a five. He's putting extra time on the clock. These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Okay, time go, go. Let, just press one. Maybe that'll help. Oh dear me. What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? <laughs> or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button yeah, to button. Yeah, it says three and there is no screen, three. Clicking There's on no three button. Thing in this room. We haven't pressed one and two, though. Buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything. Something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? <laughs> solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment. Well, I'm going to choose to believe. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still Let's playing instead of party. watching the cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. <laughs> to see you. <laughs> Brave. This is not a challenge. Okay. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world. That's fine. I think there but is I'm a way. I'm going to destroy it first so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds Ooh. until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Oh, a red button. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Nothing. Or will you let it go well, peacefully? Stay down. Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. 
And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Oh, we blew up. <sighs> well, the end is never the end. Do you want to see what happens when we let's disable? Just, yeah, let's turn. Let's just turn it off. Let's follow the narrator. There we go. Here's the door. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Thanks. He refused. Of course, to this make it. this he whole point of this it. game is His that the life in is that the player control. has no more choice Never. than a non-player character. It was unthinkable. That the is player true. has, has no more possible? choice than an NPC does. So you're basically life an NPC with the illusion of control, the and that's why we get to play this story. That's why it's Stanley's adventure. But here was the proof. Yeah. The heart of but the operation. it could easily just Controls be like a visual novel kind emotions. of thing. Yeah. Happy or sad or content. Although in that case, you're still walking, interacting with eating, it. Working, all right. Of it monitored it's just an interactive inevitability. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Never again! Turn it off! That's right. Is it over? Are we in that black screen that just stays forever? No? No? Oh. Is Music? this the end? Music? Oh. There's something. Can you walk forward? Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was Except mere moments away. The narrators. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. Ignorance is bliss. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to Whatever life Freedom. he lives, it Choice. will be his. That's pretty. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Oh. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. But it's fake. The feeling of liberation. Yeah. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was Only exactly got here by following directions. Right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. So, only by allowing ourselves to be mind controlled can we be happy? Because ignorance is bliss? I, I wonder what the percentage is of people who play this for the first time and follow all the directions the first time. And then go back and do everything the wrong way. But we did it the wrong way first, and yeah. then went back in Which to I follow think the directions. Works better. I like that because the final Wait, ending that we Stanley got. Stanley thought to himself. Oh, whoa. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely mm -hmm. I was mistaken. This is new. This was pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. It makes you think. Makes you think about stuff. All of his co-workers were... Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? Okay, um... Is that it? <laughs> I think so. That, this is like the only game I where I'm like, it. um... Did we really end it, or does it keep going? Because when Stanley came so to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room. So well, I that was it. really interesting. That was a I very liked unique. It. I really liked that. It was a unique and well-made game. Yeah, it was. I mean, we were really like 
meta about it the whole time. <laughs> like the, but I mean, it makes you self like aware. Yeah, yeah, it forces um, you to be self aware of what you're doing. Whereas most video games, you kind of take it's all it, about immersion and escape. Yeah, and you take I think most games, you kind of as the player, you take for granted that the game designers are basically manipulating you to do certain things. Right. You must do this to progress. You must learn these rules in order you to just, operate in this game. You just follow it. Right. You never question the game. Right. Question the game. Yeah. Especially if it's a good design. If it's if a game is designed poorly, you notice the controls and you notice they're bad. But if a game is designed well, you just do what you're told without even realizing it. Mm-hmm. Well, because you're, you're taking in all that texture. Right. You know, and all that atmosphere and the... And it's a seamless transition. And with some games, making a choice might color what the game experience is like, but you're still being led to an, inevi- to an inevitable conclusion. Yeah. That was designed by the creators. It's about the journey, not the destination, right? Right. So one could say that of a, of a game, too. Even though the destination is predetermined for you, it's your choice how you get your, there. It's also your goal. Like, yeah. is to have... But, and he talks about, you know, is it still a journey if there's not a destination? Right. But the thing is, if you were to stop, that's a, then that's a destination. Right. So, it every, just every feel like it. part of a line is a point. Right. Mathematically speaking. That's right. This has been Bio Banshee. I'm Casey. I'm Juliet. This game was so well Very made. well done. The voice acting well done, was great. Game. Design was great. Writing you, was great. You made me think about things. Um, I don't want to think about things. <laughs> I'm playing a game. No, I do. This is great. I had fun. And they made it funny. And any game that yes, is it was very funny, funny, just, that's great. And so, Casey and Juliet stopped their recording and posted the video to YouTube. And got millions of views. <laughs> and were wildly successful. <laughs> and became millionaires. The end.